Hey Maker, I'm so excited to share this file with you. While I've been making headbands and S hooks and doing all this stuff, I had an order that I really needed to finish. So I had to squeeze it into everything that I've been doing and I'm so in love with it. It's really fun to take something out of your head and make it a reality. So I have been partnering with some digital artists to help me really take the ideas out of my head so that I can make them physically. And it's turned out really awesome. It's been a fun collaborative effort. I've been working with Tiffany Link Designs and also with Logo Designs to help me make my um, ideas a reality. So I started off by creating a box with this adorable little rainbow designed by Tiffany Link Designs for me. and. After making several um, milestone boxes, I found that making these little grooves makes it so much easier to open up the box. So when you open up the box, you've got this adorable little ah, milestone sign that's going to be used as a keepsake once they are once the parents are done, um, you know, taking pictures with the milestones for the baby. So I love how my little rainbow is like shooting off, and I've got this little um, cloud here where you can put. Um, birth announcement details, how cute. And you can put the different milestones that the baby um, reaches as they grow. So typically in the beginning, you kind of lay this on the floor and you lay the baby on the ground, you take the picture from above, and then as the baby starts to sit and get up, you know, sit upright and stand, I created a little stand. I'm so proud of myself, this one I did all by myself. It goes in just like that. And then the stand or the piece goes in just like this. How cute. And then you can stand it up and set it up somewhere. Adorable. So then you'd probably want to use like um, glue dots or double sided tape or you know velcro to help it stay in place once it's standing upright and then in the box you have little compartments where you can put all of your little pieces for your milestone sign i love it so much this file is definitely going to be for sale on my etsy shop so if you want to make it too you're more than welcome to let's learn how to make this gorgeous little um, milestone sign together. It's such a fabulous gift. Ready? Let's go. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and have Mira cut the file for me. This is a quarter inch birch plywood from Home Depot at 85% power, five speed on a 60 watt Mira 7. So I'm going to take my two biggest pieces and glue them together. I'm using tight bond wood glue. And then I'm going to use these clips that I get for a dollar each at Home Depot to keep it together. While it's drying and while my other pieces are cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my rainbow. And as you can see, I like to leave the masking on my piece because it helps it stay cleaner while I'm working with now it. Now here you see me peeling up just the cloud part and I'm gonna paint that in and then I'm gonna peel up the rest of the masking. Now I'm gonna glue in my rainbow and while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the engraving on the other little pieces. So I was rushing and I forgot to mask the back. So now you see all this flashback from the laser beam. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand the back to give it a more professional look, and I'm gonna dust off all of the soot from the engraving. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my engraving and my scored lines with whatever paint color I wanna use. Once it's all dry, I will peel it up and do any necessary touch up, and then I'll be done with those pieces. So engraving definitely takes longer than scoring lines, but one of the reasons I prefer it, see here how I have this spillage? Now all I have to do is take a piece of sandpaper and sand it off and it'll be ready to go. When you score, even though it's faster, if you mess up, you can't just clean it up that quickly. You have to go and hand touch up with a, with a paintbrush. So you'll see what I mean right now. I'm gonna sand this off, then I'm gonna take a toothbrush and just clean it off, and that's it. That's, that's all the touch up I have to do. So when there isn't a lot of detail and it's not gonna take too long, then I usually opt to engrave over score unless I have a bigger project with a lot more detail. I'm ready to assemble the box and I like to do this at night so that the glue can dry while I sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and sand it off, make sure all my edges are nice and clean. Now I take all my edges, I butt them up together, and then I run a thin bead of glue across the edges. Then I very carefully 
put it together and use the clamps that I have to hold it all together. You do want to be careful that you don't tighten your clamps too tight because you do run the risk of bowing the wood and then you'll have a hard time getting the top on. You could also just assemble it with the top on and then it would avoid that risk. wondering if there's an easier way to do this and so I reached out to my buddy Mark at Big Blue Laser Designs and he's like I just use rubber bands and I'm like oh my gosh mind blown that's genius so I'm using the rubber bands and they're working beautifully I had to use a clamp in this one corner over here because the rubber bands I have on hand aren't tight enough but this is genius okay my new favorite thing when I'm making boxes rubber bands thanks Mark if you guys don't follow him, make sure you do. Mark at Big Blue Laser Designs, the man's a genius and he's got a lot of great tips, like the one he just taught me. Now that everything's dry, I like to go ahead and sand all of the edges. It makes it much smoother. It gets rid of any glue that has spilled. I, I don't care too much when the glue spills over on the outside because it sands off. But see, I don't like those really dark edges. I, I like to give it a much smoother, feel so I go ahead and I sand every edge so it feels nice and smooth when you run your fingertips along it. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a clear coat of lacquer over it, let it dry, and get to engraving my embellishment on the top of the box. I'm so excited it's almost done. So I've gone ahead and masked, put a piece of masking where I'm going to engrave a little rainbow. I'm going to use 300 speed 50 power and then I'm gonna paint it in and my, uh, my milestone box will be done. I'm almost done. I'm gonna let this dry, then I'll peel it up. And lastly, I'm gonna glue in my T supports and it's finished. That's all for today, Maker. I hope you had fun with me. I hope you learned something new. Stay safe out there and I'll see you here next time on That Mom with a Laser.